today, Satan. Not today, Nick. Not today, ankles. We don't have it. Questions. Where's my cocktail? Where? That's my opinion. All right. You ruined it. You ruined it. You did. Uh, what the f is this? The lies. There you the go. Lies. There you go. <laughs> you are the biggest bully in Hollywood, and everyone knows it. Hello everyone and before we start it is time to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the beautiful people of Rose Forever. They did this amazing bouquet of flowers with special oils that will make the roses last up to a year. This is the perfect gift for you, your mom, your wife, your husband, whatever you want to say, I'm sorry, I love you, I miss you, say it with these beautiful flowers. So if you want to get your bouquet right now, go to the link on the description below and use my discount code ANDY25 and you will get $25 off your order. Again, this is the perfect gift for anyone. So whatever you want to say, say it with roses from Rose Forever. Girl, welcome back to another video. Hello, I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and we have some tea to spill about the real housewife Ultimate Gold Strip and all this shit that happened between Brandy Glanville and Caroline Manso because finally. Brandy is making a move. And bitch, we need to talk about it. So let's talk about this uh, mess. Girl, after everything went down, a lot of people like jump into the let's hate Brandy train. But also a lot of people were like, mm, wait, something is not adding up. There is something weird in this situation, right? Um, a lot of the housewives are not on Caroline's side, which if you were sexually assaulted, why would you not be on her side? And if you were a witness of everything, why would you say otherwise? Um, it's not like Brandy is the most loved person in the world. So like it will be very easy to just hate her and go like on the, on the hate train. Um, and there are, there is no footage. So the only thing that apparently they have was the mic moment and, uh, it create a whole environment. Also, I give you guys the tea that I got, the exclusive tea that I got, that was that uh, before they start filming, you know, the producers reach out to Brandy Glanville and told her that if she wanted to go back, come back to the show for a second time, she needed to bring Dina Manso to Caroline because Caroline made it very clear that she was not going to talk about it. And that's what Brandy did. She talked about Dina Manso, okay? So then when you put that thing, those things together, you start saying like, oh, what about what if this was actually a retaliation? Mm -hmm. What if this is not like a bad thing, you know? Uh, and Caroline Manso is kind of like playing, you know, with different parts on everything. It's a very big possibility, right? Girl, well, Brandy Glanville has put her attorney to work. She has been silenced about the whole situation. And I think it's because this thing right there, right here, right now. Because there was such a big investigation, you know, uh, by NBC and Peacock and all of that. You know, they have to, like, really be careful with what happened, with what they say or don't say. So I'm going to read you this. It says, Attorneys for reality star Brandy Glanville have sent a letter to Warner Bros demanding that it release audio and videotapes that they claim will prove that she didn't sexually harass a co-star during filming for a show it produces. Fellow, fellow, I'm sorry, fellow Real Housewife veteran Caroline Manso has claimed that Brandy Glanville touched her in the breast and genital area without her consent while they were off camera on the set of the spin off the Real Housewife Ultimate Girl Strip in Morocco in January. But attorneys for Brandy Glanville say that Shed Media, a Warner-owned production company that makes the show for NBC Universal streamer Peacock, should have released the audio from the star's 
microphones immediately to show Manso's claims were allegedly unwarranted. It is absolutely unacceptable that your company will knowingly and willingly allow such a story to take hold in the media without any regards for the truth or the impact on Ms. Glanville's reputation, wrote lawyer Duncan P. Levi in a letter addressed to Warner Bros. attorney Damian West. Warner Bros. investigator Samantha Mirabello and Lisa Shannon shed SVP of programming and development support supporters of Manso and former Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, Glanville have both claimed for weeks the audio wouldn't confirm their version of events. Levin demand in the letter that Warner release them now. Manso made her claims the morning after the alleged incident, which is said to have happened on the evening of January 25th, sparking a shed media investigation into the matter. She claimed that Glanville had given her unwanted kisses during a party, but when they went into a bathroom with two castmates, Glanville pinned her against the wall and touched her in the intimate areas over her clothing. She and Glanville were both moved from the house where the, their co-stars were staying to hotels and then returned to the United States. In that bathroom, as the audio will confirm, nothing inappropriate or illegal whatsoever occurred. As you know, both from your investigation and the audio and video that you possess, the four women wash their hands before returning to the party where they enjoy some food and chatted. He wrote, adding, throughout Miss Manso's appeared to be having a great time and didn't telegraph any signs whatsoever that she wanted Miss Glanville to leave her side. Overall, the entire incident was comp comprised of some filtratious conduct and kissing between Miss Manso and Miss Glanville, and all of it was absolutely mutual and consensual. The letter also claims that the fame studio is aware that three eyewitness corroborate her actions, yet Shed Media and Warner's Brothers was chosen to sit idly by, by and let this false narrative continue. The letter identified two of the eyewitnesses as Gretchen Rosie and Alex McCord. It is unclear who the third eyewitness is. The letter also says that the Real Houses of New Jersey star uh, Manso did nothing to discourage Glanville from touching her, was outspoken about her liberal views on sex, and even offered to allow castmates to touch her breast to confirm they were not implants. Not only did the eyewitnesses ask Ms. Manso if she was okay, to which she responded with a smile and thumbs up, but after the alleged bathroom incident, when the group returned to dinner table, uh, Ms. Manso made a lightheaded comment to the eyewitnesses about having been kissed by a girl before but never having kissed back until now. The night in question was one that was egged on by your own producers who earlier in the same day encouraged Ms. Glanville to bring some excitement to the party. When Ms. Manso arrived at the main house, the two women spent time together enjoying some shots, laughter, and dancing with one another with the other woman. It is beyond contention that you provided non-stop alcohol and an environment where the participants were drinking and smoking marijuana all day and all night. Bravo insiders have previously denied to page six that there was marijuana on set. The letter also claims that Shed sent Glanville home because of the incident and then realizing she wasn't guilty. 
is now attempting to insinuate that Ms. Glanville engaged in sexual harassment with an entirely different individual, a producer, as a mean to justify her ejection from the show. Whoa. Girl. Girl. I told you. I told you that things are not adding up. I told you about this from the beginning. Bitch. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you guys think because everything is there. What happened that night? We have another liar and he's not Brandy Glanville apparently. So let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to Ultimate Girl Strip or any other housewife franchise or pop culture, make sure to subscribe, 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 hit the notification bell, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.